okay so for the hexagonal so for the hexagonal i'll have to change this a bit right now what is our gamma here it was 90 degree fine here it is all 90 degree here a is equal to b which is not equal to c so so how do i draw that how do i draw that how do i raise it so So I have been drawing it for 90 degrees. Now I know that what is my gamma? Gamma is my this angle. If I was drawing it like this, it was 90 degrees, say. Now I want it to be 120 degrees. So I should make it a bit more oblique, is it not? So it's something like that. That's all. Once you've fixed these, then it becomes pretty simple to draw it. Because as I've told you, you just keep on drawing lines parallel to these three. That is all. Okay. So it will automatically also keep on correct, correcting you. So A is B. So this is my X axis. This is my Y axis. This is my Z axis. So, so what do I do? A is equal to B. So fine. So, so if this is this much, this is this much. So I go like that. And from here, from here, forms something like that. Okay. Okay. So A is equal to B, but that is not equal to C. So C may be say a bit taller. Okay. And, and the points correspond. Let us try to understand. So if there is a, this point here, this is here. So it will, it has to definitely map into this. Okay. This point, the same length. You see? goes like that it comes down like this okay. something like this it has to be parallel to the lower one so okay and I have this. Oh, I have drawn something, something wrong. I should have taken it like that. This will vanish. It will come like that. Okay. understand now if the same thing is repeated you put one after the other it will form a hexagon okay it will form a hexagon if three of them are put like this it will form a hexagon okay so maybe if it is the other one is 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 like that so this is the other one, okay, and the third one will be something like, like that, something like that. You understand? You understand? Three such put, they'll they'll form a hexagon. Is it not? This is one twenty degrees. 
This is 120 degrees. This. This is 120 degrees. So three such 120 degrees. This 120, this 120, this 120. So they'll they'll make it 360. You understand that? So they'll they'll cover the whole complete angle, the central angle. Okay, so we have not taken the hexagon as the primitive cell, but we have taken the hexagonal, this, this as the primitive. Why? Because it is three such will form a hexagon, hexagonal prism. Okay, it's not, an, not a hexagon. It's a hexagonal prism. Okay, you understand what a prism is? Prism is something, two surfaces, they are parallel to each other. So, so we have been dealing with it in physics. We have been dealing with triangular prisms. Okay. So similarly, this is this is a hexagonal prism that it will give you graphite, zinc oxide, cadmium sulfide. Graphite, zinc oxide, cadmium sulfide. So we understand what we are talking about. This is this. This one unit is called hexagonal. Hexagonal. Primitive is if I draw this. But you should understand why it is called hexagonal. Okay. We understand why it is called hexagonal. It does not look hexagonal first of all. Mm -hmm. From no, no point will you be able to see that it's a hexagon. Still, I call it hexagonal because three such will form a hexagonal prism. Three such form a hexagonal prism. That's why hexagonal. Hmm? I had a big, big, big trouble understanding this. Why do you call it a hexagon when none of the faces are hexagon? Right? Hmm? You should have asked me that. Hmm? When I was drawing, you should have pitched in. Somehow I feel you people are not interested in either writing this or drawing this. Why? Because this is not formed a part of your uh, exam questions. Is it that? No, 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 no one is bad at drawing. You cannot be worse than me. Okay, for whole of my life, I have not painted or drawn any damn thing, even at the cost of being thrashed in nursery and I have never sung rhymes, you know. But if I can draw you, you, you can pretty well draw it. Mm -hmm. Rhombohedral or trigonal. So, rhombohedral or trigonal. This is also primitive. Primitive. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Primitive. Hmm? What else? Alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma, but none of them is equal to 90 degree. Alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma, but none of them are equal to 90 degree. See, all, the, all, the, all these mistakes that you must be committing is due to the non-parallel line. See, this line is no longer parallel to this. Now, now that is the source of mistake. That's all. Nothing else. Sahil, show me. No, don't show me the book. I have seen the book. Then why aren't you drawing it? Hmm? I cannot keep on saying the same thing over and over again. Don't, please don't act smart. Please, it's, it's my request. You may be smart, but please don't act smart. There is a serious reason why I am taking this pain. 
ओके स्पेशली फॉर द पीपल हु आर प्रिपेरिंग फॉर आई टीज यू हैव टू हैव अ थॉरो अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वॉट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट थॉरो एंड वेन यू रिक्वायर इट यू इवन डोंट नो mono clinic so rhombohedral uh, alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma all of them are not 90 degrees and calcite calcite is an ore calcium carbonate and cinnabar it's so very very important thing to understand calcite calcite is calcium carbonate and mercurous sulfide that is cinnabar many times you are you are asked this only what is cinnabar okay so rhombohedral what i was trying to show you with the playing cards was this what i was saying let us let us assume you do not have a rectangular card huh? rectangular card had these cards been say say rhombic okay they would have been a rhombus and i would have pushed it like this you understand i would have pushed it like this this kind of shape okay so 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 a is equal to b is equal to c so they would have been equal all these edges would have been equal and none of the angles angles being equal that, that would have made this as a, had this been a been a rhombus a burfi kind of thing and and this would have been the edge then it would have looked just like that what 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 they're trying to say here okay so here sure your a is equal to b is equal to c so alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma all of them not equal to 90 degrees but here a is equal to b is equal to c okay so rhombohedral rhombohedral or trigonal okay Ro rhombohedral that's why they call it a rhombohedron because the, that that shape the solid shape that it would have made that would have become a rhombohedron that in our vectors we call 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 a parallelo piped okay a pipe whose cross section is a parallelogram okay okay so maybe maybe what happened is is something like this again erase it hmm so the main thing is to draw the draw the parallel line okay they do not have to be at 90 degrees so take it to the front so this is maybe less than 90 so it is something like this okay so it is something like this okay so so let me join this and Let me join this 
and so I have a horizontal and a, and a, and a, wait wait wait. So let it be less than 90 degree, 90 not bad, this maybe, and this maybe, so what happens is, something like that, this has to be maybe something like that. So something like that. Okay. And okay. maybe something like this. So Okay, so this is the angle that it makes, this, okay. Do you understand it in 3D, if at all? No. Hmm? So these angles, they, they are not all 90 degrees. So, so it was something like this that I had started with, x, y, z. I press it a bit, so it becomes like this. I press it a bit, so it becomes like this. And then you start drawing parallels, right? You understand? So all these angles are something like this. They become all acute like that. And then you start drawing parallel. So this is what I'm trying to do. Maybe, perhaps yes. This seems to be depressed towards me like that, right? That's what I want. This, like that, okay? Fine? Then I am left with monoclinic which is primitive and what do I mean by this? A is not equal to B is not equal to C, A not equal to B not equal to C and alpha is equal to gamma is equal to, this, this you should keep in mind, alpha is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degrees and beta, beta is not 90 degree, beta is not 90 degree. And the example is monoclinic sulfur, sodium sulfate, monoclinic sulfur, monoclinic sulfur. This, this you should remember because the name itself follows this. Monoclinic sulfur and sodium sulfate with 10 molecules of water of hydration. Okay. Monoclinic. Hope it is not going away from. So, monoclinic sulfur and, and sodium sulfate with Na2SO4 with dot 10H2, okay, dot 10H2. And then, then I come to? The last that is the triclinic, the triclinic. There we have in monoclinic we have primitive as well as end centered, right? End centered. In triclinic we have in triclinic we have simply primitive. Primitive. And what is the what is the Hmm? All of them are not equal. Alpha is not beta, not fine. So, so maybe let me write it here above above those. Okay. It's going beyond.